is David from Redneck Garage. Today I'm going to do a review on my NV200 Nissan all-purpose utility mini small little bitty service truck. Overall I've been real happy with it. Uh, I've got about 15,000 miles on it so I have driven it enough to know what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Overall it's been a great truck but one of the things that really bugs me about it I'm going to explore in depth here with a thermometer. So let's go. Okay, so you can see that it's 35 degrees outside. <clears throat> and I'm going to set the heater on recirculate. And I'm going to put it on the setting that is for the floor, floor only. And there's really only heat coming out of the floor. And I've got it set on two. So we're going to drive around for about 30 minutes, long enough where it certainly should be warm. And then we're going to take some test readings. Driving the MV200 is actually pretty nice. It it, uh, it handles more like a car than a van. Um, you get a little bit of you can hear a little road noise because it's windy today and it's cold out. But for the most part, as far as the handling goes, I've really enjoyed it. It, it drives like a little car. It zips in and out. It goes through. Uh, it's easy to get in and out of parking spots, and it'll go into parking garages. Um, so as far as the handling goes, I don't have any complaints. I've really been impressed with that. I, I like how it handles. It's got electronic assist uh, power steering, and I mean, it, it zips in and out of traffic just fine. All right, well, there's my little footsies. And I haven't opened the doors. It's still 34 degrees outside. Let's see if we can get a temperature reading. Sixty-three in the middle. Sixty-seven. Sixty-two right in the center. Fifty-nine. Side of the console at seventy-three. And then as you go back, sixty-two. Sixty-four. Fifty-nine. Sixty-three. So you get my point. It, uh, you can just feel this cold layer of air underneath here and where the console is at in the center. Now part of it is because it's solid console all the way up and across, there's no airflow going across and there's one little vent. But let me tell you something. Ugh. Here's the Chinese radio I put in. And it's actually pretty cool. It's got navigation. Um, it'll do AM, FM, everything else. You can actually play movies on an SD card. It's got Wi-Fi. It's actually an Android operating system. And it was like 400 bucks. When I originally bought the van, I, uh, the only option it didn't come with was a uh, touchscreen radio with navigation. So I contacted Nissan because um, I thought, well, maybe I could just buy one from Nissan. They wanted almost $3,800 to sell me the head unit. And then I found out on top of that that uh, you had to buy more modules to do the navigation and whatever else it wanted to do, Bluetooth. Now, I will say the Bluetooth on this is terrible, but everything else works really great as far as, like, the radio and, and the video. And it's a touchscreen. Not a great touchscreen, but it's a, it's a, it is a touchscreen. So I've been pretty happy with my $400 radio. Nissan, why didn't you get it where you could buy a radio and put it in this thing? I thought that was dumb. So that's the exterior of my NV. It's actually, it's kind of windy today. Uh, I've been really, really super happy with it. It's good advertising. I lettered it up with my plotter and made some signs for it. Um, I put some driving lights on it. Uh, overall, the outside, the exterior has been excellent size-wise. It's really, really uh, uh, nice to have something that's small. Right now, the back of it's kind of a mess, but I uh, outfitted it, put LED lighting in, ran wiring to it, and it's while it's a little bit cramped, it actually works real well for what I'm doing with it because a lot of my time is spent driving and not uh, in the back of it. But when I'm in the back, it's not bad. It's just getting in and out that's kind of a kind of a hassle. But overall, I've been able to deal with the size-wise. It hasn't been too awful bad. I'm six foot four, and and sitting in the back is not really that much of a a problem. While I'm on a job site, it's actually really nice. Um, the 
advertising is nice. While I'm out working, it actually is a really good looking van. Uh, I get comments on how nice it looks and I don't have any issues with that at all. I've been real happy with it. So overall, I've been really super happy with my NV200. Um, I will say this, you know, I'm outside working, I'm out on job sites. Sometimes it's snowy, icy, rainy, cold. And when you get into a vehicle, this is supposed to be a work vehicle. This isn't like some kid going to college or whatever else. When you get into one of those, the two things that I'm usually the most cold is my hands and my feet. And when I get into my truck, I expect to be able to bake my feet and get them warmed up. And I swear, I'll drive around half all day long with two pairs of socks under my feet freezing. So that's something they really need to fix on this truck. Um, and truthfully, that's something so dumb that I have to complain that there's no heat on your feet in a service van. I don't know. Um, somebody missed the boat. Now, during the summer, the air conditioner is not bad at all. But overall, man, I tell you, it just, you know, during the day, I'll sit there and go, man, my feet are freezing, man, my feet are freezing. So um, Nissan needs to fix that on the next model, the next update or whatever. It, it's really a, a inconvenience and a pain for me. That's it. Really, overall, I like my NV200, but, man, they need to fix the heater on it. This is Redneck Garage. I'll talk to you later.